All right, so uh, the way I conduct this is that we're gonna go through all 17 sections, right? And we're gonna rate the level of difficulty of each one of these subtopics as easy, medium, and hard. We're gonna develop a consensus and then we're gonna talk about some of the tips, tricks, and strategies that can help us really fast track our preparation. Okay, or consolidate our knowledge. So let us use a rating system, uh, easy, medium, hard. Okay, starting with section number one, math, algebra and trigonometry. If you want me to quickly recall the concepts, that's basically your uh, straight line equation, right? That's your law of sines, that's your law of cosines, right? These are the big items. How do you rate them? Easy, yeah. And so it's easy, okay. Uh, now, just to establish some, some references, some benchmarks, hard, I would consider flip-flops counters as hard, okay guys? So RSA algorithm maybe is hard, right? Dealing with electronics, maybe I would say that is hard, that is difficult. Medium is something that if you have spent some time, a little bit of time and you know where the formula is and whatnot is, you can make a connection. What would be a good example of medium guys? Maybe KCL, KVL, right? That type of stuff is for the most part medium stuff, right? Um, most of the transforms are also medium. Easy, like straight line equation, right? Plug and check type of stuff, right? That would be easy, right? Uh, Bayes theorem is probably a medium, right? Flip-flops, again, RSA algorithm, Diffie-Hellman, that kind of stuff, and some really obscure type of three-phase circuits. Uh, they're they are difficult. So with that, uh, those benchmarks, um, I definitely agree that this is an easy complex numbers. How, how would you rate complex numbers? Easy, right? Your calculators can do most of those. Discrete math. What is in our discrete math? Our functions, surjective, injective, right? Our matrices can be considered discrete math. Easy. Analytic geometry. So I go deep in analytic geometry, right? Uh, with your parabolas, with your hyperbolas, all different variations and forms. Right, handbook doesn't contain much detail. How do we how do we want to read it? Rate it, right? Easy, medium, medium, easy. A mix of easy, medium. Let's call it easy slash medium. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess if you are looking at um, all the different variations, then you can argue that since the stuff is not given in the handbook, it can be considered on the medium side. Okay. Calculus. How do we read calculus? So calculus broadly speaking includes your differentiation, your integration, it contains your min-max of a function, L'Hopital, okay, we have a consensus, it's a medium. Ordinary differential equations, right? Not including the integrating um, uh, factor. Okay, integrating factor method, I'm thinking of actually just removing it from on-demand. A lot of students, you know, complain about it that, hey, it's not in the handbook. And my take is that if you don't have a separation of variable type of a problem, how are you gonna solve it? I'll, I'll think about it. You know, when I have a little bit of breathing room, a um, few weekends that are available, I'm going to think. So ordinary differential equation, yeah, you have to manage a few things, uh, the characteristic equation um, and all of that. So it's definitely not as easy as straight line equation. So it's a little bit on the med medium side. Linear algebra. So in linear algebra, um, you know, difficult to sort of quantify, but let's throw logarithm in here. Let's throw matrices in here, right? Um, so I would say that, so let's get some more votes here. Medium, difficult, medium, medium. Okay, let's call it a medium, right? I guess some of the problems can get tricky. And vector analysis. So when we're dealing with vector analysis, we're looking at the cross product, the dot product, right? So um, that is primarily vector analysis. It sort of overlaps with uh, matrices as well. I would say, let's keep it easy, right? So when you look at the whole mathematics section, you are going to be bombarded with 11 to 17 questions right up front, right? There's not even a single topic that is hard, not even a single topic in here, right? And the ones that we have uh, called out, you know, easy, they should be, you know, money in the bank, right? Um, the ones that are medium, I think most of you would agree that they're not the same level of medium as the ECE concepts, the ECE topics that we've encountered. Like a medium from, let's say, communications or signal processing or even uh, controls or electromagnetics, it requires a little bit more you know, engagement, okay? A little bit more brain cells have to be killed type of stuff, okay? So how do we tackle this? Well, A, complete the on-demand content, okay? Uh, the reference handbook is very helpful when it comes to math, okay? Um, uh, do all the quizzes, do all the mini exams. And my other recommendation, especially for math, there's a little bit of psychological element as well. These, This is a topic that, hey, Vaseem, on July 30th, when you were going through this, you said that it's all medium, easy, mostly easy, right? 
But as I start going through the actual exam, I find like every other question is sort of, you know, throwing a curveball. Easy doesn't mean that they're going to serve it to you in a silver platter, right? So easy basically means that the concept is digestible, that you can deal with it. So don't put additional pressure on yourself that you have to throw it out out, out of the park, right? When if you if you have played any sport, right, you know that you know, if you're against the minnows or a small, any team sport, right. And you know that you have it in the back, right. That you are going in for the kill type of stuff, but they surprise you with something. And then all of a sudden your plan A and B start falling apart, right. So many times we've seen upsets, right. In, in different tournaments and games. And that's what happens. You know, the minnows, the small guys, you know, they come in, they have nothing to lose, nothing to prove. And they go in with full confidence. They're, they're pretty relaxed. And whereas the ones who are contenders you don't have high expectation. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't do well. But if you see some questions up front, don't let that dent your confidence. That's the worst thing you, that can happen to you. Right up front in math, which you're trying to ace, you see a couple of questions that are out of the, you know, challenging. And then you just, you know, um, throw in the towel. I've I've heard students do that, okay? And you can check on Reddit, other forums, like people talk about this. So that is one of the things that I would strongly recommend that this is easy, easy section, but, and you need to do work for this, doesn't matter. You know, it's still, you know, math upfront, if you've gone to the on-demand course, it's probably, it takes a lot of time to make that progress, right? And uh, that can be a little bit disappointing that you've spent so much time on just section number one, you haven't moved forward, okay? Does it make sense, guys? Mm-hmm.